Having to be secretive about wedding plans is an added worry for all traveller girls approaching their big day. 19-year-old Irish traveller Bridget is getting married next week, and she too has had problems booking a venue. Three got cancelled. Really? Three of them? Mm. It's not right at all, really, is it? Is that because they found out you're a traveller? Yeah. Cousin Elizabeth and her family have been helping to secure a venue. They paid a deposit and they, when they went to pay the full money, they handed the money straight back into his hand. So we can't do business with you. That's wild well bad, isn't it? I know. I didn't think they could do that. Yeah, they can. Do you have this problem quite a lot with things? Do you? Yeah. Do you know if they just stopped and just get to know us and stop, like, instead of putting us down so low? and just to stop and to have a talk or things like that. To, to realise them we're not like bad people or anything. We're just people. We're just normal like everyone yeah. else, do you know what I mean? But you don't look at it that way. Does this um, venue mean that you're travellers? No. No. Say if they found out tomorrow, would they cancel it? Yeah. It's not something you would be worried about on your wedding day, is it really? Will the venue be right? Best friends since childhood, the girls have experienced plenty of racism growing up. <laughs> they called you gypos and they look at you, oh, you gypsy, scum, this way, that way. Call you all, all names for nothing and they don't... How can they, how can they judge you when they don't know you? I mean, it's hard to say something, like, chuck you out and if you go in places and whatever. For what? They don't give you a reason because you're, you're a traveller no tra and signs on the, bo uh, on, on the door. Before you go to the no travellers allowed. That's not one traveller, that's all travellers. As the best woman, Elizabeth is accompanying Bridget to see their dresses for the first time. Thelma has had to put the frustrations of the last traveller wedding behind her and concentrate on her next customers. I mean, this friendship between these two girls goes back a long way. They're not just cousins, they are best friends as well. The bride herself doesn't seem to have as much say as what Elizabeth has. She, she basically tells you exactly what she wants. And I don't think she's even interested in the bride's dress as long as her dress is okay. Right, come on, come on in here. What do you think, Bridget? Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> That's yours, Elizabeth, over there. What's these, these Thanks for your arms. When Bridget is married, Elizabeth will not be able to spend nearly as much time with her best friend. Me and Bridget to be friends now, we're the closest out of all friends, but obviously she, she's getting married to her boy. And that's like, that's the, a different closeness. She always just say that, um, I don't get married till you get married. And you're going to get married before me. And I said, no, I'm not. You're going to get married before me. And she was, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And it was her. So I was right. Really. You're nervous now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> now you look like a bride. Nice. Piece de resistance now. Oh, God, gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, the back is fabulous. Take it off now, and I also have to like, leave it on. It's just shocked and surprised how nice it come out. I'm so happy now. With the dresses perfect, all they have left to worry about is the wedding venue and what to wear at the Hindu. My face. <laughs> Getting ready for a night out squeezed into a caravan with a faulty generator is second nature to these girls. <laughs> Where have the disco on here? Flashing lights. There won't be no hen light if she don't hell up, so I'm going to make that. The strict rules of married life within the travelling community mean Elizabeth wants to give Bridget a mm -hmm. night to remember. When she's married, she's not going to be able to do this. She can't go out with, like, without her husband and with her friends or single girls or anything like that. So I um, just hope she has like a really good time because it's like, the last time she can do that. Because when you're married, you're making the commitments and 
you can't just go off with your single friends and like you can't go to discos or anything like that without your husband. And that's just the way it is. You like it? It's wrong. Well. <laughs> <laughs> With another friend, Birdie, squeezed into the shower cupboard. Bridget's younger brother, Larry, doesn't entirely approve of the outfits. The holy show. Huh? What are you going to call are you wearing? <laughs> what, 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 what are you meant to wear one of them for? Because it's bright, basically. So what? Take it off now. No, you won't. Take that off your leg now. <laughs> No, but not at all. That's what I'm supposed to wear. The whole show, take it off. No, no you're supposed no, to wear it. No, you're not meant to put it Yeah, you are. It was great now, take it off. No, we're not. No, I won't tell. Despite her younger brother's objections, the girls head off to one of Swindon's premier night spots. Bridget's marriage will mark a turning point in her relationship with best friend Elizabeth. She wants to do this. This is her decision. And obviously she's happy. But I'm happy for her as well. I really am. But it's just like... I don't know. It's, I'm just... I hope just she just don't change. So. They're like being friends and things. I just hope that don't change. Things are also starting to heat up for bride to be Bridget. Is it the same as that? It's the night before her wedding, and some of her guests have just been thrown out of a nearby hotel for being too loud. Everyone was getting shut out. All the children, everything in the pajamas, getting fired around, all over the children making noise. No Can way. Yeah. My own nephews and nieces. Getting fired out to, to know before we wouldn't. Shocking, I'm deep shocked. Of all days for it to happen, I wouldn't care if it was any other day because we're used to this. But I never did talk like it happened a night before we wouldn't. The following morning, while the evicted guests do their best to get ready back at her site, Bridget is being transformed into a bride by Thelma and Pauline. How do you feel anyway? Do you feel nervous now or do you feel... So, like... Oh, shaky. Yeah. Meet your wedding day. This is like the biggest day of your life, isn't it? Yeah. While Bridget will be gaining a husband, Elizabeth fears she'll be losing a best friend. Oh, girls, this is the end of an era, isn't it? <laughs> she don't care anyway. She does. Look at her. Look at her face. <laughs> She's usually laughing, giggling, bubbly. Look at her face. She does care. Strongly face. Are you still going to be, like, obviously you're going to be friends. Are you going to see each other as much? No. No. Bridget's fairy tale wedding has a classic Cinderella theme, with a modern twist on the pumpkin carriage. pink bridesmaid colour scheme was chosen by best woman Elizabeth. Half the time I think she thinks she's the groom because she's had so much input into this wedding. Probably even, even more than what Bridgie's had. The real groom, like many traveller men, has chosen not to be identified.
newly married Bridget has one more hurdle to overcome. The reception venue still don't know that it's a traveler wedding. And cake maker Jill is worried that the unusual choice of wedding cake may raise suspicions. As you can see, it's big. Big and in your face. I'm a bit wary about it as well because they don't know the travellers. Once they see the size of the cake, because obviously like an ordinary country person's wedding, it's just a little goes on a small table in the corner. Once they, I start asking for a 12-foot table, um, if I, I haven't already got one, then it's a bit of a giveaway. Nobody's going to say, where's the cake, are they? <laughs> the cake might not be the only giveaway of their traveller identity. Will you get in, buddy? What? Please don't scream at me, please, because I'm not going to move for you. I think as soon as they roll up and they see the dresses and, and the outfits, that they'll know that they are travellers. Um, whether it sets alarm bells ringing, I, I don't know. Get up off, please get up off. I'm not on your feet. You are. I'm right on you. They'll save us a table. Okay. <laughs> Jill, what's your name? Jill. 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 Nineteen-year-old newly married Bridget is about to have her wedding reception at a local golf and bowling club. Unsure of how their traveller identity will go down with the venue, they're trying to be low-key. Although a few heads are turned, nobody has any complaints. She was very worried about her venue cancelling. And um, obviously we got here, the people's very, very nice. And you can tell that it's just a, a relief, like a pressure off her brain, that everything's gone so well and everything turned out right the way she wanted it. She's getting married, you jackass. She's married, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing their friendship will never be the same again, Elizabeth has planned to have a last dance with her best friend. You can just see how close they are, you know, they're going to miss each other, you know, they're like singing to each other, and no one interfered, they just let them, let them get on with it. But, you know, it'll be Elizabeth soon anyway, so. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, I think so.